She's just meant to be annoying. And her voice is like, hey there, I'm trying to get some likes and da 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 da. Like, I'm a Spider Man villain and I'm gonna get some likes and shares and I'm gonna put people in harm's way. Like, why? No, what is the going on there? Welcome back everybody to a brand new video today. We are going to be doing something a little different and we are going to be ranking every Spider-Man villain on tier list maker. Um, this is kind of a video idea that I wanted to do for a while. Just kind of wanted to figure out all the specifics. Finally figured it out, we're ready to go. Um, so real quick before we dive in, if you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you guys want to share down, down below your lists and what characters you really like in this series, um, there's going to be multiple versions of characters like Green Goblin, but if well, just let me know like what kind of characters you guys like. Maybe there's a character that you really like that maybe it's not as popular. Uh, but I'd love to know all that stuff down in the comments below. So uh, yeah guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this, first of all, we're gonna start off with Tombstone. Now, I've read about him in the comics a little bit. Um, I mostly know him though, from the Spider-Man PS4 game that they have. I'm gonna say, I did enjoy my time with him and I think it's cool that he's not just like a gangster. Like he actually has the ability, like he, something with his, like he can't, his, his skin is impenetrable, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna put him in B tier for now. Maybe we'll move him down to C tier. The problem here is that a lot of these Spider-Man villains are awesome. Um, but do keep in mind, I'm gonna be ranking what the picture shows because there's multiple versions here. So we'll rank each version. You know what I mean? This version of Rhino. I actually do enjoy him. Um, maybe we'll end up putting him in A tier. He's kind of... For me, he's the weakest out of the Sinister Six in terms of like how much I like him. Um, but I still enjoy his character. Scorpion is an A for me. I really enjoy the, the new character vamp that they gave him in Marvel in the Marvel Spider-Man game. Um, I thought it looked really sick. I thought the colors on his suit looked really vibrant. Um, next we have the little J. Jonah Jameson thing. Um, I will put it in C tier, being that it's not like a, the biggest, the biggest. It's not really a, he's not really a villain, uh, unless he's saying like J. Jonah Jameson as a villain. If he's saying J. Jonah Jameson as a villain, then I'll probably put him like here because he's actually like a pretty big threat to Peter and like revealing his identity. Um, Doc Ock goes in amazing, no doubt about that. I think that Doc Ock is just one of those characters that everybody loves and especially alfred molina as him oh boy um okay so i i know mostly everybody would want to put this version of the green goblin in bad i don't hate him as much as a lot of people do i will put him in d tier i don't actually hate him as much as everybody else does i agree that he's not very good um i really liked his portray of harry but I don't like what they did with him for Green Goblin. I, I, I was not a big fan of it. Um, this version of Scorpion from Into the Spider-Verse, not much better for me personally. I wasn't crazy about it. Um, Wraith, so this is a character we haven't actually gotten to see yet, at least in like the games or anything like that. Um, this is Yuri Watanabe from the Marvel Spider-Man game. I'm pretty excited to see her character I think that she could end up being like a high B tier character for me. Just depending on where they go with her character, I'm really hoping that I enjoy her a lot. Black Cat, I will put her just above Rhino. A lot of these, see, a lot of these characters are like really good or just, yeah. Taskmaster, I really liked his design in uh marvel spider-man and i really like like the missions that they had you going on with it he was a side character and he was taskmaster i don't know about you guys but that just was so sick to me okay so this is the green goblin from uh into the spider-verse um and you know what for the time being that we got to spend with him i kind of enjoyed like the different take 
on Green Goblin. Um, I most of all just enjoyed his fighting style. He was much more bigger, kind of like what they did with Lizard in the new Marvel Spider-Man 2 game, where they made him like a lot bigger. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool, and they gave him like wings, and yeah, I was I was into it. All right, next we got Wilson Fisk from Into the Spider Verse. Um, this is a character that, honestly, I really enjoy. I don't know where I would put him though. Um, you know what? I will put him like right if I can do it right there. <laughs> He's a, he's a pretty decent character. Now, this is where things might start to get controversial because I'm a big fan of the Amazing Spider-Man series. Um, Lizard, this version of Lizard, and like Kurt Connors and stuff, I would actually put like right here. He's pretty, he's pretty well fleshed out. I can save them. I can cure them. There's no need to stop me, Peter. This Vulture, I would actually put here we don't get a lot of time with this version of vulture um and i feel like we just i don't know like i think that alexi is a little bit better because he at least has like some funny one-liners vulture really hasn't been that prominent in the new series of marvel spider-man uh, i was not a fan of that i was not a fan. i think that's probably the worst one on here to me that character I think the Venom itself is cool, like when it's, an, it's on Peter, but every time they just show, we never really get like a full shot of him like just fighting. It's always like Eddie's revealing himself. Hey, Parker. And I don't know if that's just because like the CGI team had to do that. Now, this version of Fisk is right up there again for me. Um, I actually enjoyed him more than the Into the Spider-Verse version, if I'm being quite honest. This version of Electro is one of my favorites. When I saw, especially the way that they designed the little crown that Electro has out of the lightning, because when No Way Home was coming, I was like, oh man, are they gonna give him like the, the Electro crown? It'll, it's gonna look really dumb if they do, like how are they gonna make that work? And they made it out of electricity. That works for me. <laughs> How you like the new new? Absolutely. Oh, okay, so we have probably one of the mo more recent to come to the big screen uh, characters. We have the spot. Uh, I wonder which spot he's going to go in though. I, I think spot works well right here, right there. Cause he's a pretty threatening villain and he and I have a lot of fun with him. Okay, so this is Prowler from the well from miles's game from uh spider-man miles morales he would probably go i don't really know um he doesn't i don't know i'll put him like here for now because yeah okay so this is a character that I love. Harry Osborn's the new Green Goblin. Just that scene where he gets Peter and like throws him through the alley and like and like him and they're fighting when he's on his board and stuff. I, I've never seen anyone say that that's not cool. It's pretty cool as a kid watching that. It was pretty awesome to watch. Um, Screwball, probably one of the most annoying characters. I would even put her here. She's essentially just somebody who wants social media fame, but does bad things to get it sometimes. Very annoying. Um, probably one of my least favorite parts of the DLC. She's just meant to be annoying. And her voice is like, hey there, I'm trying to get some likes and da 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 da. Like I'm a Spider-Man villain and I'm gonna get some likes and shares and I'm gonna put people in harm's way. Like why, no, what is the going on there? Like I just, I don't get it. Uh, Prowler, okay, so this is the version of the Prowler from the movie uh, into the spider-verse i would actually go like right about there now maybe even more i'd probably go there because he's pretty threatening and he becomes like a vital part of the first movie um okay so they have miguel o'hara on here he's not really a villain i would say but okay 
I would probably put him ooh, as as a villain. Like, I don't even know because he's not really a villain. Are we rating the character? Or are we rating how much he's a villain? Like how much I like him as like this bad person that they portray him to be. Because if we're doing that, he's about here for me. But if we were rating on like how much like I like the character, he's probably above the spot somewhere. Okay, so this is Jay Jonah. Yeah, so just to be clear, that's a, how much I like him as a villain or villain considered, I guess. Um, Jay Jonah from Marvel Spider-Man series. I would probably put him he, he I like his little talks that he does in the game so I will put him like right above here because I, I I really were I'm not judging the character but I really love his way of you know what no actually I'll put him like down here because he's still really good shocker okay but this is the version from the Marvel spider-man game I I think that this version uh, you know we have some pretty fun levels with him and I like his little character development of like being scared I would actually put him right there because he's pretty he's, he's pretty fun here we go. Here's another hot take. I actually enjoyed this version of Electro even more than the lit. Yeah, I actually enjoy him quite a bit. He's going. No, not right there. One back right there for me. Um, he's a pretty enjoyable character for me. Now, who's this? Is this? I think we already got this one. Maybe if this is just so we'll put him right there because I think they're both essentially the same thing. Um, this is oh this yeah that's just from the game right yeah so this is Ot Otta Oct Octavia from Into the Spider-Verse I thought she was pretty cool um I would probably put her she's better than Electro I think yeah she's like right behind yeah she's like right there now this is the shocker from Spider-Man Homecoming wasn't crazy about this one um, he would probably go down here for me. Not really crazy about him. Now, the new lizard design that they have, um, I think is really neat. And if they stick the landing, could be just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This is, okay, yeah, this... I think as a villain, especially with no considering Spider-Man No Way Home, he has to go up there for me. Um, the way that they've portrayed him as just this, this psycho maniac is great. Absolutely fantastic. I, I, I really enjoy his character. Strong enough to have it all. Too weak to take it! All right, um... So this, okay, so this is Electro from the Marvel Spider-Man game. I enjoy him quite a bit, actually. I think that they give him a little bit more th uh, story than everybody else. I, I, I definitely enjoy his character. I would probably put him, like, right here. I really enjoy him in the game. Norman in Marvel Spider-Man, I would actually, like, no kidding, like, probably put him, like, I'm, I know I'm putting so many people in A, but that's because I don't want to put so many people in, like, amazing, like, legendary. But I just, I, I absolutely feel that way. I absolutely feel that he is one of my favorites. But, like, just how much he sucks. Uh, Simon Krieger, he's fine. He's just your average, like, greedy kind of guy. He's fine, I guess. I would probably put him, like... Like back here he's fine whatever uh this version of tombstone sure i mean he works where where's the yeah the, ver the version of tombstone i have over there that one version is definitely better um we don't get really get much from this guy he's he's fine okay 
so I would actually say that this version of Vulture is one of my favorites. I, I just absolutely enjoy him. He's Michael Keaton as Vulture is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man live action performances. He totally sticks to landing of just trying to keep in his own shell. Um, I really like what he does for the character. I hope he comes back because he's not dead. It's time we change too. Silver Sable? She was pretty fun. I think she had probably one of the best character progressions in the whole game. Um, I would actually put her above of Octavia. She was pretty enjoyable. This version of Rhino, <laughs> um, he's fine, I guess. Like, he's right here for me. He's fine. I am the Rhino. Flint Marco as Sandman, um, one of my favorites. I, I know I'm putting like the big ones up here. How can I not? How can I not? I mean, Flint Marco in this, in the story with his daughter is just, it's so sad. It's so sad. Um, so you're gonna see, there's gonna be a lot of Marvel Spider-Man characters coming up here. And a lot of them I love. Marvel Spider-Man is actually my favorite Spider-Man universe that exists currently. I just think the way that it's been fleshed out is, fantastic just, just fantastic um so okay we have craven from the new game obviously we don't know too much about him yet because the game's not even out yet but based on the trailers i think i can say he's right here i think he looks great i think he's gonna he's gonna play the part well the great hunt begins oh boy oh boy here we are so as many of you might know Mysterio, the character, is my favorite Spider-Man villain of all time. However, the way that they portray him in Spider-Man Far From Home is disgusting. Um, he's not just someone who was friends with Tony Stark or was a worker for him. He, he yes, it's Quentin Beck, but he doesn't use, uh, like, the droids and the all the drones and stuff to make illusions he has real magic and they kind of make a joke about them and i don't really like that i don't know i think it takes a lot from the character's lore and then it just makes him like a regular guy um a big problem that i also have with this is if you go back and you watch the spider-man far from home final fight 80 percent of it is just spider-man hitting drones when instead it could be like a really cool fight between him and Mysterio, uh, which I much more would have rathered. So for me personally, Mysterio, the way that they butchered his character, I won't put him at the complete bottom, but you know, cause there are some good scenes with him, but he's right down there for me. I'm, I'm, I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of what they did with him. I loved, I think Jake Gyllenhaal was the perfect person to play Mysterio. But the what the, whatever they did with his character, I love the deceiving and stuff. But, ugh, what did they do? Now this version of Otto Octavius is one of my favorite. Yes, I, when I play the game, I just I loved I loved the little journey that you go on with him. Just absolutely great, absolutely great. Okay, yes, oh, I'm, I'm blank on the. It's not Tombstone. It's uh, Hammerhead. This is Hammerhead from um, the Marvel Spider-Man game. I, and it's he's mostly in the DLC for this game, which is fine. Um, this final design was really weird, I thought. I don't know, I wasn't really into it. I'm probably gonna go like right here. He was fine. Um, Venom just looks great. I. I haven't, we haven't seen much from him yet, so I'll put him, uh, I don't know, we haven't seen much from Venom in like his story yet, and as Harry, I'll put him right here for the time being. This list may change, we might have to make an updated video. We're going to kill the world. Um, the Tinkerer, Finn. Now we're specifically talking about the version from Spider-Man Miles Morales, 
the game. Um, I enjoyed quite a bit, actually, if I'm being honest. I, 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 I kind of enjoyed her character. She kept repeating herself a lot about, like, things, so, like, that kind of made her unlikable, but she's right there. She's good. Um, and Martin Lee, I mean, he just gets it. I, I love what they did with him. I, you know what? Yeah. I, I absolutely love what they do for him. And he becomes this, like, redemption case, almost. But he, well, obviously he never redeems himself, but he, the, the chance is there multiple times. Um, so, yeah, guys, what do you guys think of my list? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, are there things that you would change about it? Let me know all of that stuff down in the comments below, and I'll try to respond to as many of you as I can. Um, I just, I love being able to see all of this, because this kind of just re represents my Spider-Man opinion in one go. But uh, let me know, again, what your thoughts are, and uh, maybe next time we'll do the Batman's villain uh, tier list. Until then, guys, peace.